You'd be surprised how easy it is to make your iPhone run faster. It's just a matter of changing a few settings that are either on or off by default. I'll walk you through all of those, so let's jump right in. Now, you're going to open up the Settings app on your phone first. And the first thing that we will do is a cool feature that allows you to turn your phone on super quickly. So you can see tap or swipe to wake. I'll show you what it looks like now. I'm gonna turn my phone off and to turn it back on, I need to tap the power button and then swipe up. However, if I do tap or swipe to wake and turn that on, now you'll be able to see all I need to do is swipe my finger up and just like that, it immediately turns on. A cool new feature and a fairly small feature, but there's some other things that we can do to speed up your phone as well. Let's go back to the very beginning of your settings. After you've done that, let's go to your Safari cache or your web browser of choice. It might be Google Chrome. So let's find Safari on this list. And all we need to do is go through the process of clearing the history and website data for all time, all profiles, and close out of those tabs. Now by doing so, it will make Safari and your phone in general run super smooth and clear out all of that cache that you're not normally using. The next thing we'll do is go back to the very beginning of your settings. After you're at the very beginning of the settings, let's tap on general and we'll get to a big culprit in using resources in the background background app refresh. Let's switch this to off, which will not allow any of those apps to constantly run in the background, using up a lot of your processing speed and slowing down your phone. Now it will just focus on the performance on apps that you have currently open, not ones that are running in the background. Next, let's go back to the very beginning here. And at the very beginning, we're going to scroll down and get to your location services. You'll be able to see lots of apps on here. There might be some apps that are set to always using your location. Again, this will slow down your phone because it's constantly relaying your location between the phone and satellite or your Wi-Fi. So I would switch this to either never or while using the app. But keep in mind, if you scroll down, you'll also see that an option where all of these iPhone services are also using a location and a big culprit is this significant location and routes. So I would recommend turning this off because this will constantly check your location when you're at home, at the office, coffee shop, friend's house, stuff like that, and constantly tag your location. So I'd recommend turning that off. Now let's go back, back, back. Still within the privacy and security, let's next focus on analytics and improvements. You can see I'm sharing my analytics. These are turned on, which will constantly gather data about your phone in the background to send it to Apple and app developers. Now, this does slow down your iPhone and really doesn't give you any added benefit. So on all of these, I would recommend turning them off. So go through this list, turn them all off. But keep in mind, I would also turn off Apple advertising, as well as if you have Apple intelligence report, if that's turned on, make sure to switch that off. Now, the next thing we will do is your phone will run really slow if it's running out of space and basically clear up some space if it is running out. So from the very beginning of your settings, you can go to your iPhone storage, and this will show you every app that is on your iPhone, some of them taking up over a gigabyte. A cool feature is if you do use the app, you can just offload it and reinstall it. And by doing that, it will significantly reduce the size of it. It essentially clears the cache and temporary files in that app and overall frees up space on your phone. However, if there are some apps on here that you don't use, you can always just tap on the app and choose to delete it and free up some space. Now we've walked through a number of different things. And the last thing that I would recommend doing is something that nobody ever thinks of and it immediately speeds up your phone. It's restarting it. So you can either just tap on general and then hitting the shutdown to restart it or you can press the volume up and side button and then hold and swipe to restart your phone. You will see an immediate speed bump after you restart it.